Is it possible that not all trees that don't bear fruit are bad trees? This was a tree. This was a good tree. And don't get what I'm saying twisted. I'm not saying anything contrary to scripture. I'm just saying, did every tree that ended up bad have to end up bad? What if, what if a good tree still needs a fair shot to take off and to bear fruit? You see, life gets busy sometimes. And although we may have planted a few trees, we may neglect at times to water those trees, to prune those trees, Gen in general, just to tend and take care of those trees. And these little trees, without the proper attention, will wither up and die. And unfortunately, when a tree doesn't bear fruit, it withers up and dies. There's nothing you can do with it but to throw it in the fire. If there are little trees around you in your life, your children, your friends' children, your friends, you have a responsibility to Yahuwah, to them, to help nurture those trees. Especially the little ones, especially those trees that without the proper attention, the little trees aren't going to make it. They won't bear fruit and they'll have to be tossed in the fire. And that goes for those who aren't little ones too. Ezekiel chapter three speaks on warning the wicked. If we don't warn the wicked, their blood is on our hands. So. Not all messages are lighthearted and fluffy. Some of them have to cut to the chase. Let's be good stewards of those who the fathers trusted us with. It would be better for us to tie a millstone around our own neck and cast ourselves into the sea than for us to cause one of his little ones to stumble. We won't just be judged by what we say, but also by what we don't say. So let's help, let's help raise up a mighty generation for Yah's kingdom. Shalom.